Lesson 1, Rules of Indices. You'll need to know these rules to be able to do logarithms. You probably do know them, but just recapping, we have that a of the m times a of the n equals a of the m plus n. We add the indices. Here, number 2, we have a of the m divided by a of the n equals a of the m minus n. We subtract the indices. And a of the m raised to the n is equal to a of the m n. We multiply the indices together. A of the naught, remember, is 1. A of the minus m is 1 over a of the m, which leads into this nice little result. But a on b to the minus n is b on a of the n. We just turn them upside down and change the sign. a of the 1 on n is the nth root of a. a of the m on n is the nth root of a raised to the power m. Now we'll just do this little one. Now this becomes... 3 to the 3n plus 1 times 3 to the power 2 divided by 3 to the n plus 1. Adding the indices together, we get 3 to the 3n plus 3 divided by 3 to the n plus 1. Subtract the indices here. 3 to the 3n plus 3 minus, put a bracket around here, n plus 1, and that becomes 3 to the 2n uh, plus 2. If we take that minus 1, 3 minus 1 is 2. That's where some of the errors pop in. Right, right part 2. A little bit more challenging, this one. Now again, we'll fix up the top part first, and we'll get that being 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power n minus 2 all over. I'll just leave that for a minute. You might think about that for a little bit. And that becomes, adding the indices, you're just going to get 2 to the n, aren't you? The 2 is cancelling out. Now on the bottom, you, you can't really do much until you fix this bit up. Now, we've got a common factor here of 2 to the n minus 1. So we'll take that out, and that'll give us 2 to the 1 here, because if we add those two, we'll get back to 2 to the n minus 1. So the bottom one becomes equal to just 2 to the n minus 1. Now we're right, right to go. So it's 2 to the n divided by to the n minus 1. We'll subtract those indices. Minus n minus 1. And we just simply get the result of 2. Right, in part 3, we have to prove that 5 of the n plus 1 plus 5 of the n plus 5 of the n minus 1 for all integers, n greater than 1, except if you greater than or equal to 1, will also work. Put a little equal sign in there equals there, um, is divisible by 31. Now remember the previous one, we took out 2 to the n minus 1 as a common factor. Um, we could do that, or there's another way we could do this. We can just, because they're all 5s here, we'll write this as 5 times 5 to the n plus 5 to the n plus 5 to the n times 5 to the minus 1. So I'm going to take it 5 to the n. There's a few different ways of doing this. I think this makes it fairly easy to see. And now you'll have 5 in there, plus a 1, and plus 5 to the minus 1 is 1 fifth. Now that becomes, becomes 25 plus 5 plus 1 all over 5, which is, of course, this becomes 5 to the n minus 1 outside of 31. So this is a multiple of 31. Obviously, when n is equal to 1, this is going to be a 0, which makes it just 31. So when, it, when you put in 2, 3, 4, you get numbers here being multiplied by 31. Therefore, it is divisible by 31.